Worldwide Jets, worldwide mess. On the Breakfast Club. She's a culture shit. It's time to set it off. Alright, so this news is a little bit everywhere, but I'm starting with Gerard Carmichael. He says he is not apologizing to no damn Dave Chappelle. I know, if y'all don't know, um, Gerard Carmichael was interviewed by Esquire, and he discussed a beef with Dave Chappelle. This, I see, really, really see this coming, but I did my, after doing my research or whatever, mm-hmm. Carmichael previously critiqued um, his latest special, uh, The Closer, as anti-trans and potentially damaging to Dave Chappelle's legacy, which Chappelle, he apparently he saw that and he ain't like that. So Carmichael first criticized Chappelle for making anti-trans jokes in his stand-up specials back in 2022 when he did an interview with uh, GQ. He took it as F Dave Chappelle because he's an egomaniac. Carmichael explained he wanted me to apologize to him publicly or some S like that. But Carmichael believes that Chappelle should go deeper into his personal insights and in, in his comedy and legacy and just leave the anti-trans uh, jokes alone. But my thing is, so Dave Chappelle wanted him, reached out to him like, I need you to apologize to me publicly. Mm-hmm. Uh, allegedly, that's what uh, Carmichael was saying. Mm-hmm. And he didn't want to, mm-hmm. but you're going, you're speaking about him in the, like publicly about his jokes. Mm-hmm. That's crazy to me. Should comedians critique other comedians? Um, mm, I mean, all right, so this is the thing. Yes, Gerald Carmichael is gay, but he is a comedian at the same time. Yes, and right. I'm sure at some point, uh, if I could think about it, I probably could think of, it would come to me, but I'm sure Gerard has said something that people probably thought was you, too far. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, as yeah, a yeah. comedian, like... You're you, going to offend. You're going to offend. Mm-hmm. Like, listen, it's uh, trans comedians. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Like, at what point do... I, I don't know. I just feel like all of that is off limits. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that could be you at any, That could be you at any given at moment. any time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? But to give him advice on what he should talk, write comedy about is just crazy. Yeah, that's whack. Yeah, it's like like come on now, you you and your feelings. But uh, I am surprised that Dave Chappelle was like, you need to pu- publicly apologize to me. I am surprised at that because usually Dave don't care. From what I yeah, know, I don't, like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was just interesting. That was a little cherry I wanted to drop on y'all for y'all little milkshakes. All right, look, Diddy's son King Combs was hit with a lawsuit alleging that he asec- he sexually assaulted a staff on a yacht. Now the alleged victims claim alleged the alleged victim claimed that she was sexually assaulted by King Combs while she was working as an employee during one of uh, the holiday yacht parties back in December. Damn, where was I at in December on a yacht in 2022? In December. It's, it's different places with different seasons. You are yes, so right. You know what? Well, you right. I was ready to be like, because now Maryland, that she lying. It wasn't Maryland. Maryland. Everything ain't Baltimore. <laughs> All right. All right. It wasn't Maryland. Right. I was like, hold up now, girl. Cold as hell out there. All right. So she said she saw a constant rotation of suspected sex workers as well as celebrities partying and doing drugs. She also said that Christian Combs allegedly became aggressive with her after forcing her to take a shot of tequila. Now, she also said that she suspected that tequila was spot- with something because she looked around and saw other bitches passing out after one drink. Mm. He also, uh, she said that he also allegedly placed his hand on her without her consent and touched her private area. Later on that night, the court documents claimed that he attempted to force her into giving him oral sex and that he forcibly grabbed her arms in the process. Diddy is named in the lawsuit because he's the one that rented out the yacht. So that, you know, just so people were speculating like, oh, how does that trace back to Diddy? He's the one that rented out the yacht. Now, Justin Combs, the other son, he was accused in a recent lawsuit of being a part of a cover-up and uh, involved in the mysterious shooting of his friend, identified as G in the lawsuit at a recording studio in 2022 with Diddy. So Lil Rod heard multiple, now yeah, this is also alleged by Lil Rod, y'all. This is what he's putting out there, one of them uh, five lawsuits that he got going on. Mm-hmm. It was a very long lawsuit. He said he heard multiple gunshots after a heated conversation in a nearby bathroom at a studio. When the door, when the bathroom door opened, Combs and his son walked out and Lil Rod found G lying on the floor in the fetal position, uh, bleeding from like his leg, hip area, mm-hmm. and a uh, cough, and he was holding his stomach. Now Lil Rod alleged that um, Combs told him, to tell the police that neither one of the Combses, him or his son, had nothing to do with it and say that the shooting happened outside of the studio by a person that just came through and just started, uh, like, doing a drive-by, like, just shooting out the window. That's what he said. But the story is G is still alive, but where is G? That's what everybody's wondering. 
You know, the, the one thing about the, the Little Rod lawsuit, which I, mm. I never understood, is if Little Rod is suing Diddy because of sexual assault and not getting his proper public, mm. you know, publishing or whatever it mm. may be, why is he discussing so many things that doesn't so have anything things. to do with him? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if this is about my lawsuit and things that I'm suing for you, mm -hmm. why is that in the lawsuit? Why mm -hmm. is the guy that carries the drug in the lawsuit? Why mm -hmm. is the different things in a lawsuit if it has nothing to do with his suit? That's probably why they raided the studio when you think about it. Looking for a weapon? Yeah. So, look, that that is actually, remember I told you earlier, um, when in the Tyrone Blackburn story, mm -hmm. that who's the lawyer for Laura, that is what um, led to the, the raid. It, probably, it, it makes more sense, right? Because when you mm -hmm. think about, you know, the raid and how they came in with the guns drawn mm -hmm. and the They're military for style weapon vehicles for, yeah. and stuff, you do that when it's something like that. And right. the two sons were handcuffed, you know. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, now, yeah. And there was, there, was, there was rumors out there that they were under federal investigation for the, the, the L.A. studio shooting. Mm -hmm. yeah. their involvement mm -hmm. in that. Yeah. That would make more sense. People yeah, don't read. The sexual worker thing, yeah. Yeah. All right, now real quick, Aoki Lee Simmons is 21. She kisses her 65-year-old boyfriend, Vittorio Asaf. What? Amid Look, if you didn't catch it the first time, don't worry about it. I said it right. Um, She's dating this 65-year-old man. For those who don't know, a uh, Aoki is the daughter of 48-year-old Kamora Lee Simmons mm -hmm. and uh, 66-year-old Russell Simmons. So he is a year older than her father. No, her yeah, father younger. is a year yeah, yeah. older than him. Yes. Yep. Aoki and Vittorio was seen kissing on the beach and their on their trip to St. Bart's. Yeah. Um, sources are saying the two are just enjoying each other's company. But listen, it, back in an old uh, Instagram live when Aoki was talking to her father, she did say, if you don't up my allowance, I'm going to get a sugar daddy. And he told her, you don't have sugar baby qualities because you know you're still a virgin. She probably said, hey, not forever. What you talking about? Jesus. So She said that? She, yes, in one of their lives. She sure did. Mm. Mm -hmm. it, you know, the, the crazy thing about it, she's 21, he's 65 mm -hmm. years old. That's what, 40-something years older? Yes, yep. And and she sat, she, and, and this is no What disrespect. happened to worms, man? Remember back in the old day when people worms. would tell you, the old guys you know, worms. women would tell the women, mm. yeah, you mess with that old man, you're going to get worms. Yeah. What happened to worms? I don't know. People don't believe in worms no more? He's too rich to have worms. He probably got rid of all of them. He got all, all that money he got. Ain't no worms in there. <laughs> but watching it, she, she just put out a live of where she was with him, and they were talking on the live, and she was asking for crepes and saying that Cartier was her favorite. She just didn't yeah. seem... What is crepes? Rich worms? No, but crepes are like the things that you eat, man. What's wrong with you? Oh. But she just didn't seem mature enough mm -hmm. for that age. You know yeah. I mean, she didn't seem like you could tell a mature level wasn't yep. at the same thing. And that's what scares me when somebody at 21, yep. or 22, whatever age she is, is dating a, a 65 year old. I, I, I think if you're 21, you ain't going to never be mature enough to date a 65 year old. You're right. Mm. Okay. Touche. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, but you, but you, but, <laughs> but when, the way she was talking, it sounded still like a, a young girl. Like a little girl. Like crepe. I want, I want a crepe. What do you want? You, what, what do you want in your crepe? Oh, that is my favorite rest. My yeah. favorite I just spot. Think that it, when it, you're a man, it you just seems you got to so put it in perspective, right? I Jesus. Mean, you, how old, how many years old is he? 65. 65, well, 21. 21 or 22. Do the math, I'm not good. 32, 42, 52, 62, 44. 47 years. 40-something I mean, years old. So imagine years. being 40-something years old when somebody's zero. You <laughs> looking at somebody, you looking at a person pregnant, they, they, um, you pregnant with the, thing, with the person you're going to be with 20 mm -hmm. years from now? This, that's mm -hmm. what you got to put things in perspective sometimes. Absolutely. And be like, you know what, nah, that ain't what I need to be doing. And a lot of people were saying like, you know, uh, the apple don't fall far from the tree because that's the same thing that her dad did with her mom, but... Russell was not that much older, not that much older, not 40-something years older than Kimora. And Kimora had posted something on her story where, like, she was, like, kind of saying, like, she didn't want her yeah. to do that. Yeah, 17, okay. So they were 17. But not 44. That's crazy. Yeah, well. And then they used to travel to St. Bart's all the time as little kids. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Jesus. All right. So. Well, that is just with the mess, and her news is real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Charlemagne, who are you giving that donkey to? Uh, four after the hour, well, about, about a minute, I need all you unhealed heathens who mad at J. Cole apologizing to come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with you. Oh, and let's talk about this, this when you're finished so with this. 800-585-1051. Let's discuss. It's this the Breakfast Club. So Good morning. Personal. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.